Hello, I'd like to share some information with you today in regards to how to apologize more sincerely. This information is coming today from VeryWellMind.com, written by Elizabeth Scott and reviewed by Amy Morin. So, uh, effective apologies are simple if you can uh, know what to say. So here are some easy steps to help you learn how to apologize more sincerely and effectively. So, understanding the reasons to apologize. By apologizing, you may be able to acknowledge that you may not have been correct, uh, discuss what is allowed and not allowed in your relationship, meaning establishing whatever boundaries that you have in whatever relationship you have formed. Express um, your remorse, learning from your mistakes and finding new ways to deal or dealing with difficult situations and opening up a line of communication with another person or individual. So a sincere apology can also bring relief, particularly if you have um, some type of guilt or um, kind of holding on to those feelings within your actions. An apology alone does not erase the hurt or make it okay. It does establish though that you know your actions and or your words were or could have been hurtful and that you will strive harder in the future to prevent it from happening again. So not apologizing when you uh, may not be correct can be uh, damaging possibly to a personal and or professional relationship. It can also lead to ruminating thoughts, anger, hostility, resentment, and may only grow over time possibly. So knowing when to apologize. Knowing when to apologize is important as knowing how to apologize. Generally speaking, if you suspect that um, there was a wrongdoing, whether it was purposely or by accident, um, and it caused someone hard feelings, it may be a good idea to kind of pull them aside and speak to um, their concerns to kind of clear the air. So if you did um, something that you felt like uh, bothered you, if it was done to you, an apology would be in order. Um, if you're not sure, um, an apology offers you the chance to own some mistakes that you may possibly have made and they'll reestablish what you think is okay or was okay. So if you feel like the other person is being unreasonable, a discussion may be in order. You can decide whether you stand on your apology after that. So while a sincere apology can go a long way towards mending possible relationships, people often times can be unwilling or unable to take that first step. Admitting that you may not have been right um, can be difficult as well as humbling. So taking responsibility, that means acknowledging mistakes you made that may have been hurtful to another person. And it's one of the most important and neglected ingredients of apologies. Saying, when I said whatever that hurtful thing is, I wasn't thinking. I realized I wronged you, wronged you I hurt your feelings, and I'm sorry for that. Acknowledges that you know what was done that you said that may have hurt the other person and taking responsibility for it. That was an example, right? So reaffirming boundaries. What are the most important parts of an apology? One of the best reasons to apologize at times is reaffirming those boundaries. So when you come into conflict with someone, usually there's a boundary that's being crossed. So discussing what type of rules or boundaries you create will, uh, and you guys will adhere to in the future will rebuild trust. So boundaries, positive feelings, uh, and it provides a natural surge of um, out of a conflict and it's a, a more fulfilling relationship. So owning up to your part does not mean that you are taking the responsibility for the whole thing, right? So remember that when you're apologizing, you're taking responsibility for the part that you played within that conflict. That doesn't mean that you're admitting that the entire conflict was your fault. 
people often are afraid to apologize first uh, because sometimes they may think whomever apologizes first is the more wrong or the loser of the conflict. Giving an apology when um, only a small part of the conflict was your responsibility is okay and is healthy. It allows you to establish what you uh, are remorseful for in your actions, but it also confirms your own boundaries as well. It is important to be fair in your apology, both to the person as well as to yourself. Do not accept all of the blame if that is not your fault or you're the for the blame of the whole situation. So apologizing for the right reasons. When you apologize uh, for what you may have taken part in, you can more easily move forward and put the conflict behind you regardless of if the other person's actions um, are showing that they are forgiving or they are accepting of your apology. The other person, um, while getting the apology back or reciprocated is nice, it's important to remember that it does not always happen. Uh, trying to evoke an apology from another person um, can sometimes backfire. So apologize for your own peace of mind and the other person may be inspired to do the same. Just do not apologize just because you're expecting an apology in an apology in return. So um, kind of letting go of the results to uh, an extent, if you will. So although apologizing may be a way of maintaining the integrity and moving on from the actions we're not may not be so proud of. Most of us uh, also want to repair whatever the relationship is with whomever and uh, to be forgiven. Sometimes that may not happen. So if the apology is was sincere and included the necessary ingredients that I mentioned before, um, the chances of forgiveness or um, kind of moving past or forward together are greater. And sometimes the other person just is not in a place or ready um, or able to kind of move on from that situation. Or they may forgive you and still be a bit guarded. So um, definitely realize that you cannot control the other person's response and um, you've done what you can do. And after that moment, kind of letting it go for now. So I hope this information was of assistance and I hope you uh, enjoy the remainder of your day.